I don't really remember when I couldn't ski. I definitely started out the back door. Yeah, I think I was all of about three years old. Growing up in Fairley, Vermont, Tara joined the Ford Sierra Nordic Cross Country Ski Program when she was eight, and by nine was also ski jumping. I really fell in love with jumping because, well, you got to go fast straight downhill and fly through the air. There's 200 or so steps to the top of the ski jump. Tara's first cross country racing was in the Bill Koch League and the season's closing festival, Ski Relay Race. I was the middle leg and I think we were in eighth. And when I tagged off, we were in first. And that was the day that I fell in love with Nordic racing. The first Junior Nationals I went to was when I was 11 in Steamboat, Colorado for ski jumping and Nordic combined. And it's not normal to go to Junior Nationals for cross country uh, until you're 14. But I did all the qualifying races and qualified at 12. And at the same time, I was doing Junior National qualifying competitions and ski jumping. On the podium for both events, Tara would go on to four more Junior National Championships winning four golds, nine silvers, and four bronze in various Nordic events. When I was 15, I was on the development national team for women's ski jumping. I was headed towards being on a world championship team, being on a world cup team. And then when I was 16, I had a really good jump and I got perfect wind and I went way too far. I was jumping the 90 meter hill and spectacularly blew out my knee. And I decided to put down ski jumping for a while because I had several doctors tell me that I was out of options and I would never be able to run again. And I had heard of biathlon before. I learned how to shoot on crutches in a knee brace. So I decided that I would try to qualify for Junior World Championships and I made it. I did not very, hit very many targets, but I skied really, really fast. The first international trip I ever went on was actually a biathlon trip when I was 17 to Junior World Championships, the Czech Republic, Nova Mesto, Namorav. Tara spent the next season in Sweden training and racing with their biathlon team, and then won the Swedish Junior National Biathlon Championships. Coming back to ski jumping after doing biathlon and realized that I had a future in this sport. And I did the World Cup circuit for four years in ski jumping and unfortunately fell and broke my arm and missed the Olympic team. And at that time, Women's Nordic Combined was starting up and I thought it was an opportunity that I couldn't turn down. So I had to fight to even go to that first uh, Summer Grand Prix in Nordic Combined. And my first competition, I came in second and the second one I came in first. So that was the first time I got to hear the national anthem while I was on top of podium. And that was a moment that I'll never forget. Tara won all 10 of the Nordic Combined events of the inaugural Continental Cup circuit in 2019, and 10 of the following year's 12 events. It became more of a big deal if I lost than if I won. COVID was spreading, and we were starting to hear that things were getting closed down. I got on a plane to Russia, because it was the finals of the Continental Cup, and I was in the lead. I won that event going into the 2021 season, I couldn't do anything. There was a COVID bubble in Craftsbury. Athletes couldn't leave it, and I just trained my face off all summer. I didn't get on a ski jump until September. And then it was finally announced that the first competition would be in Ramsau, Austria. So I remember thinking like, okay, I have three days of training before this first World Cup. And somehow I was able to get everything together, talk to all the media about how awesome it was that Women's Nordic Combined was finally happening, and then actually jump well enough in the competition so that I had a chance at winning. I only had to make up a minute and 26 seconds off the leader in cross country. So I just put my head down and somehow made up all that time. It meant that I went down in history in my sport of winning the first ever World Cup club, first ever Nordic Combined competition for women. I think after the COVID season and having just a lot of stress that, that winter, I needed kind of a break from that life. I've competed for the USA in a skiing sport internationally on an international team every single year since I was 17. I see my role encouraging young athletes as being a role model that didn't necessarily take the normal path. Going forward, I'll be competing in biathlon for the Vermont National Guard and 
when I qualify for international competitions, also representing the USA national team. I've gone to world championships in three different Nordic sports, biathlon, ski jumping, and Nordic combined. And I'm the only person to ever have done that. I always did what made me happy and did the sports that I wanted to do in the way I wanted to do them.